Uh, it looks like we're on lino cut four. This is where we're going to use the actual block that we cut to print. There's that handy uh, polystyrene tray and the lino ink, the block ink. Ooh, what was that? Was that ink booger? And there's the roller. Oh, he's got to touch it, doesn't he? Yep. <laughs> and here's the roller, or a brayer is what it's called. And you want to go all kinds of directions because you want to get that roller filled. And you don't want too much. Too much will uh, give you too dark and fill up uh, some of the carving that you put out and make give you a shitty uh, print. And as you'll see here, this is that print that I is currently have been using. And it, it really makes a, a, a dry uh, print on this first one as you'll see and I've got a mat foam mat down I like a little bit of push underneath it I know it creases the paper a little bit I don't like my block up I don't like burnishing uh, the top of my block to get the image this is way more fun and soothing for the monkey mind which is putting something down and doing the squish squish here's the one we made nice coverage with the ink looks fantastic come in all directions make sure all my flat tops are covered I look for these micro waves they look like little waves on top of the print that looks like it's nice and filled and this that's how I tell that it's good to go and this one is actually quite perfect although it picked up a little bit of dust and so there's like this strange anomaly uh, this unevenness which uh, adds character this is what I like about printing look at that what is that spot that spot was created because there was a little piece of dust, a little particle, uh, something disgusting on it. Anyway, let's do another set. Roll them. Once I'm in this mode, I'm just usually set up to run a whole bunch. So, like, after this video is done, I've, I ran literally hundreds of flats. And uh, I think in the next one I have, I'll probably just set that one to music, maybe. Uh, is just me printing uh, I'd show you how to do some cards Rose thought it was a good idea to show how to do cards so I'll see if I can't get that one edited up as well today beautiful nice and so I'll fill up the whole sheet I have a cutter so I We'll cut them out later. Individual cards. I just think it's more fun to print them than it is anything else. And you can, don't have to do what I do. I mean, you can be as creative as you want with them. Print them on curtains. Hey! That was the dogs trying to audio bomb. Don't audio bomb dogs. <laughs> and there you have it. Six sacred hearts.